Hey, Impact family, welcome to the weekend. Happy Focus Friday. I know we've had some amazing Focus Fridays. Cameron and Scott have brought us some awesome nuggets as we're learning about faith and praying into this theme of faith for the month of July. And as I was listening a couple weeks back, Cameron was talking about this idea of how faith has a direction. And when it has a direction, that means that it has a starting point. And faith is that place of initiation. And I want to talk about this idea of keeping our faith first and what that means for us. As we look at even the biblical definition of faith found in Hebrews 11 verse 1, it says, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So let me ask you, can you have something without first having the substance from which it's made? Right? You can't really have a sandcastle without first having the sand. So in the same way, hope actually comes after we have the substance of faith. Faith comes first. And it even goes on to say it's the evidence of things not seen. So before we see the materialization or the, the manifestation of what we're believing for, our faith comes first. And with that, we can see right in that definition that faith has to be the initiator. And no matter what, as we put it first, that allows us to have God's vision for our life, God's vision for our circumstances. And as we put that first in our thoughts and in our perspective, it allows us to direct our lives through faith. I love this quote from Craig Rochelle. He puts it this way. He says, your life is always moving in the direction of your strongest thoughts. So faith has a direction, just like Cameron spoke about a couple weeks ago. But our thoughts can also have a very different direction sometimes. And we have to ask ourselves, which voice is speaking loudest in your life? See, our lives are directed by our strongest thoughts. So what are the strongest thoughts that you're allowing in? Are they filtered through your faith or are they filtered through our life circumstances? And we have to ask ourselves that on a daily basis. And the Bible actually speaks to us about surrendering our thoughts to God. And really, when we look at this, this faith concept, faith is not an act of striving, but it's a result of surrender. That means surrendering our thoughts to God. That means surrendering our questions, our unanswered questions sometimes, maybe surrendering our need for an answer. And um, putting faith first requires even surrendering our understanding in some of those circumstances. Psalm, uh, Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6 tells us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. So part of that trusting and putting faith in God is that we place that before even our need to understand. And that's part of that surrendering part of faith that when we put it first, that doesn't mean that we blindly ignore our problems and, and we live in this bubble um, called faith, but it means that we do put our faith in a place and we prioritize it above us needing to know all the answers. Bill Johnson says it this way, faith does not deny the existence of a problem. It denies the problem a place of influence. So as we place our faith before our problems or our life circumstances, we can then see them through the lens of our faith. And so when we put our faith first and we have our life circumstances here, then we actually get to see our circumstances through our faith. We get to see them through the perspective that God wants to, us to see them through. But sometimes we have to ask ourselves, which lens are we seeing through? Because when we keep faith first, we get God's perspective. But it can be so easy for us to put our life circumstances first. And then we have to struggle to try and reach through our circumstances to get to our faith and to muster up faith to believe for what God wants in our circumstances. But when we keep faith first, when faith is the initiator of our perspective, then we get to see what God sees. Because we know Jesus even gave us the heads up in John 16, verse 33, that here on earth we will have trials and sorrows. But he said, take heart, I have overcome the world. So when, again, we put our faith perspective on, 
We can see the trials. We can see the, the sorrows, the hard times. But with our faith first, we remember Jesus said, I am an overcomer. We can see our circumstances as overcomers. We can see through faith first a perspective that God wants us to have on our life circumstances. So let's not grow weary through what life can sometimes throw at us, but instead allow our faith to influence our circumstances rather than allowing our problems to influence our faith. Let's keep our faith first and remember that as we allow our faith to speak louder and direct our thoughts and influence our attitudes and empower us with God's perspective, then we can keep faith first in every season and see what God sees for us. Have an awesome weekend, church, and I look forward to connecting with you all online this Sunday.